You gotta pay the troll doll to get in. Troll Hole Podcast, where we trash the trolls so you don't have to reach in, pull it out, hop aboard the troller holster, because we're about to take a ride, hop in the pit, spit in my mouth. It's me, at Just Mike Lester. With me, as always, the co-creator, the co-host, my co-lover, Ben Katzner. Hey, please don't spit in my mouth. I'm married. <laughs> I can only be one person, and she won't do it. Uh, We're married. We're married. We're married. married. Woo! Uh, Throw them up. Oh, throw the the rain gang up. Marriage. Mike, what do we got with us today? With us today, we got one of my favorite comedians on the planet Earth. Um, A great young lad coming up in the world of comedy. He's killing it across social media platforms. I'm very happy to have a voice of the generation with us today, Mr. (laughs) Aiden McCluskey at AIDSman109, correct? Yes, Yes, sir. What the fuck? Thank you for having me. We're touching. Yeah. How do I tee you up, dude? How do you tee me up? You left your fucking (laughs) underwear in my house, dude. Did I? (laughs) I Dude. You left your undies and some track pants. Oh, did I? I still got them. You can get them. All right. I saved him. That aside, how you doing? <laughs> how, are you doing, doing all right? how are you guys? Doing all right. We're great. Dude. Aiden is a hilarious comedian in Minneapolis. Uh, I feel like we're new friends. I yeah. Feel like we just kind of met, but we've worked together and had a great time. Yeah. You're at absolutely Acme. hilarious. Great dude. Great hang. The Bob Dylan of Midwest comedians. Because you roll around, you know, you're always yeah. traveling. I'm like, Aiden, where are you? You're like, ah, I'm in a van somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. You're, like, you're like, I'm in a field. You're like, I'm Hell sleeping yeah. in a field. And I'm like, well, it's summer. He'll probably be okay. I'll be all right. But yeah. not anymore. You're living big now. Where, yeah, where gotta, are you sleeping now? I got a closet in Cedar Riverside. <laughs> <laughs> 250 a month I, gotta, I, I told my wife that today and she's like let's move Aiden in <laughs> <laughs> the thing is I don't need it man it's nice you open the door you get right in the bed you're, you're like, gone all the time yeah, anyways you know, so. you're you're hopping around yeah. you know you only need a little nook yeah you know? that's all you're, I need you're not a big guy Mm-mm. like Mm-mm. I couldn't do a closet no, it fits too. we're not closet boys. No, I'm not closet yeah. boys. I'm a crawl space You're a crawl guy. Space guy. Yeah, I do yeah. well. I Insulation, you know, like yeah. fucking bringing that in. When you were yeah. doing the extermination work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd fucking pull down my trousers yeah. and fuck some of that insulation, dude. <laughs> What's up, though? fiberglass <laughs> cock. I get fiberglass <laughs> yeah. in my urethra. <laughs> the troll <laughs> hole. The ultimate troll hole. <laughs> How we doing? Oh yeah, with us Just today it. we got producer Neil. We got to make sure we bring with us you every time. Every Hi guys, time. back oh, here Neil. doing the thing. Doing the thing. Neil, you ever uh, had fiberglass on your penis? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> I've definitely got it in my hand, and maybe after. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Neil's the best, dude. <laughs> so unironic. <laughs> no, so like, no, I, don't, I don't think so. Uh, I guess yeah. maybe one time. Maybe got my hand there. touched it. <laughs> <laughs> Not directly. <laughs> He's answering like a contract yeah. or what? He's like, maybe on my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wait, I'm going to start our timer for this. Start thing. the I timer. Kind of start the Sorry, countdown we'll to fuck this. down, dude. Uh, so, Aiden, here's how we uh, like to start. We like to ask each other one question. That question is, did anybody say anything weird to you this week? <sighs> it's okay if nobody did. I got one. I'm trying to think. You go ahead. So, I was in Mexico, right? Yeah. And I was wearing a lot of sunscreen. Yeah. Okay, I caked it on. Okay, I was using children's sunscreen because nice. yeah. that is the zinc in it, mm-hmm. and it really protects you. But it's a little thicker and more noticeable. Protects you from everything except for cancer. But yeah, well, no, that's not true. Okay. What the what the fuck? All right, uh, but a but a uh, a child pointed at me and said, "Glaciado blanco." Okay, what does that it mean? It means white frosting. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. He fucking smoked and he your looked ass. At his, he looked at his father, and he's like, Glaciado Blanco? And, and, and the and I was like, si, si, Glaciado Blanco. So multiple generations of the same family were just roasting my yeah. ass. Because I was like, oh, that, that, that maybe they're complimenting my skin. And my wife's looking. She's like, they're calling you white frosting right now. <laughs> You're going to become like Mexican lore. You're like, yeah. Yeah. Make sure, don't go out at night. Yeah. <laughs> Glaciado Blanco Glaciado will 
come for oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the beach without your parent, Glaciado Blanco will get you. <laughs> like, Mom, I'm scared of Glaciado Blanco. <laughs> like, that's just a myth. That's not. And then here you come. I'm like, <laughs> I'll be at the port. I'll be at the port of Iarda Funny Bone. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. That's uh, great. Yeah, but that, you know, that didn't feel great. It's a pretty eventful trip to Mexico, I feel like. I yeah. mean, it was crazy. It was my favorite trip. I want to move there. Oh, yeah? I want to be an expat. Where'd you go? <laughs> I, want, I went to, we went to Puerto Vallarta. It's on like the western side of Mexico by the Pacific. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was fucking amazing. I love it. We're going to Mexico City next. Uh, nice. Okay. Plan it already around our me and yours. Does your wife speak schedule. Spanish? Yeah, she's fluent. Yeah, she's fluent. So Spanish. she knew they were calling you. Oh, white she was laughing. Yeah. She, 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 uh, she, she was agreeing with. She's, yeah. like, yeah. she's like, yeah, yeah. 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 She, she pointed at me. She's like, yeah, Glaciado Blanco. And I'm like, stop. <laughs> I'm like, stop reaffirming it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is our fucking honeymoon kind of. Why That's are you doing so this? Funny, dude. <laughs> it's like I don't want skin cancer. That's why I do it. So I can stick around till the dogs die, and you, then you can move on. Okay. That's our plan. That's a good plan, buddy. That's not bad. <laughs> I love your love. I think that's really nice. But yeah, that was my uh, uh, weird okay. troll of the week. Troll of the week. Troll. Slash no. weird <laughs> thing <laughs> someone said to you. <laughs> that's the graphic that'll We're working pop on the up. branding for everything. Nice. So we're about 14 podcasts in. We haven't really figured it out yet, <laughs> but that's okay. Hop aboard our little sludgelings. We like that, right? No. but um, Oh, yeah. Slop tops. Slop tops. Yeah. Slop tops. <laughs> I like that one. That's nice. Uh, I'm trying to think if anyone said anything weird to me this week. This, so uh, I almost, I almost died because I what? fell down. We're in my house right now. I fell yeah. down those steps over there, Whoa. and uh, I was. I've been trying to talk about it on stage, but like in talking about it because it's a little bit heavy to be like, "Hey, I almost died." People don't laugh at that, I guess. So mm -hmm. I had to be like, "But I was jerking off first. You know? yeah. <laughs> feed, feed the pigs their swap, yeah. as we we're just talking about, right? <laughs> so this weird thing has been happening when i talk about that people will come up after because i was like oh i was working for all or jerking off and then after i jerked off i almost fell down my steps and died and a lot of people don't really relate to the dying part but they are like we all jerk off at home i get it yeah. i'm like that's truly the least important part of this and i don't <laughs> i we work together so i don't really want you to talk to me like that you know like it's my favorite that. place yeah favorite place to jacket is home, is home. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> If you said any other place, we would have to cancel the podcast, probably. <laughs> At the gas station. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. For all spaces. Are Definitely these, across Are these Pop-Tarts expired? I'm just at a speedway. <laughs> oh, Gassiato Blanco. What Gassi, is it? Gassiato Blanco. <laughs> it's in my pants. That, that I, so that's what's been happening. Like, I said it, I've said it like three times. And once in at one of the shows, it was someone I haven't seen in like 10 years came up to me and was like, hey, man. And I had to be like, oh, cool. I just talked about how I almost died with a little bit of cum stain on my shorts. That's cool. Good Isn't to see that you. the best when you say just the most vulnerable <laughs> yeah, thing? Yeah. And then it's someone from your high school. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're like, you're pursuing your dream. I'm so embarrassed to be alive, dog. It's yeah. crazy out here. I loved it a moment ago when you're like, I was falling down my stairs and Aiden's like, whoa like he's like wow stairs to an upstairs area <laughs> like he's so There's used to living levels. you were just thinking about sleeping on the steps you were thinking about how you could die I don't know. Cool, man. curling up like a little chihuahua on yeah. his bottom step every step i gotta hop yeah yeah, yeah you're scared to yeah. go down i'm like a little dog you wait for max to carry you down yeah. the stairs one of my uh one of my favorite weird things that people have said to me recently you were actually a part of it was when we were working together at acme mm -hmm. it's me you and mike kaplan past guests on the pod shouts out and uh i don't know if you got this too i think these people maybe talked to you as well but people came up to me after and they're like whoa that was such a great show and i wasn't expecting all three jewish comedians to be on the show could anyone <laughs> call you jewish after that time? No. <laughs> I, got that, I got that multiple times really? that weekend. my last name was cat i guess a lot of people Took, and Mike is Jewish. Yeah. But I was like, 
I was like, I, I'm, I'm not. I don't know what you. I mean, I guess Derry doesn't McCluskey? agree. McCluskey? That's not me. They yeah. said it. I don't know. I was like, McCluskey's. They we have our hand in a lot of banks. <laughs> you don't know that, but we do. I, I, I would <laughs> yeah. say more like credit unions. Yeah. <laughs> When you guys were looking at the troll comments, yeah. had a hard time finding them. We delete them. We delete them quick. <laughs> Check cash and yeah. spots. I also That's noticed what we that call banks. The weather did get a lot better once you got on the podcast. Yeah. So that is pretty interesting. Sun man. started shining. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, turn the dial up. I got to go out today. <laughs> It, d- it does <sighs> seem like a stiff breeze could fuck up your day. Mm. You know, you're a smaller fella. Yeah. You know? Crisp right to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right to the Blows bone. Blows right through yeah. you like tissue paper. <laughs> I... <laughs> Okay, we're gonna. I'm just so glad you're here, and I'm glad you're alive. Yeah. I'm really just glad you're alive. Every time I talk to you, I'm relieved. You know that, right? Yeah. When I, when I, that when is that when is I, really? when I yeah. chat. Yeah. I, I, I check in on you because I'm worried most of the really? time. Really? I'm, I'm worried. Oh, I'm doing great. Dude. Okay, good. Good. You're doing great. You yeah. just you got so you're in an apartment right now. Yep. You were living in your car before. Yep. Uh, you got car to closet, car to closet. Not That's a, bad, a glow up. Yeah, yep, like that. Yep. Uh, you're in a relationship, right? Yep. That's she good. slept in the closet. She slept yeah. in the closet wow. a couple times. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. She stayed in the closet. She said it fits too. You know, that's a keeper right Holy there. Holy shit, is it ever? <laughs> that's yeah. like the Harley Quinn to your joke. Straight up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's like kissing you through the jail cell bars, basically, <laughs> as far as sleep and arrangements. Yeah. <laughs> Met me while I was living in my car. So, I mean, dude. yeah. You're a charmer, dude. The trends. You're a charm. You're a nice guy. That's the thing, though. Here's you're what nice I'll guy. And also, here's what I'll say. I, I do worry about you, but... I've been worrying about you less because you when you started talking about how you were taking a trip to the Wisconsin Dells. Like yes. that, that was like, oh, the boy's fine. He's yes. doing okay. He's doing Everything's good. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. That mm-hmm. that's like the that's the status symbol of like someone who's doing yeah. a okay. Yeah, going to yeah. The Dells. You're, you're going to the Dells in the winter. That's a good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the most frugal time on a three day weekend. It was Martin Luther King Day when we got there. Well, the, yeah, that's, that's what he would have wanted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. I have a dream <laughs> <laughs> that my white lower income brothers <laughs> can get to the Dells in February. <laughs> we ate at a Cracker Barrel and locked ourselves in the Kalahari for two straight days. Didn't wow. leave. Great. It's a compound, dude. That would be torture for some people. Literally, oh, I could not dream would be an absolute. Place. They'd be like, "What the fuck? That's crazy." Oh, it was great. You never have to leave, dude. Could you sure. like? Could yeah. you like? Are the ceilings tall enough? Could I like practice my golf swing? You could, yeah. I need that. Very high ceiling. You need golf in your life. This place looks insane. Like what? Oh, Neil's <laughs> looking up. <laughs> Neil's looking at the Colorado. Yeah. Right now. Holy fuck! Throw it up, Neil. He's Throw looking at the Colorado desert. And yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. This yeah. des- desert. Neil's, lo- Neil's looking at moose cocks again. He's like, <laughs> this looks insane. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I could see how you could lock yourself in there for a couple of days. That sucks. Yeah. Sad. You're Next noble. Go, bring Neil with you. Yeah. yeah. Don't be, you should don't come. Be frugal. You're noble though. You know that? I'm a noble, noble that guy. Yeah. You know, he's he's uh, he's got honor, you know? He he's loyal to his friends. That's Are you true. Your friends? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you ever hey, let me there's a little segue for you. You ever troll your friends? You ever been do a little Oh, you've yeah. been yeah. party to it for sure yeah. with the fucking friends you have. Yeah. I know you've done I, that. I we've done some stuff. I used to get in some trouble. I like befriending insane people. <laughs> and then like <laughs> Where a normal person would be like, why are you doing that? I would sure. be like, oh, totally, exactly. Yeah. As you do. Yeah. H- hence our relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like encourage them to continue down the path they're going sure. on. Sure. So okay. I have a lot of Facebook conversations with yeah. people. <laughs> you ever fuck around with Marketplace? Get in on that? I did one time. Bear your soul to someone trying to sell a coffee table or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did when I was trying to sell my uncle's car, actually. Uh, this woman like asked me after I already had said it was sold, and then I just sent a picture of Kevin Holmes smoking a joint with. <laughs> <laughs> and she, wait, Kevin Holmes is that a per- Is that yeah. a comedian? He's yeah. a Minneapolis guy. <laughs> Good she guy. said, "Oh <laughs> darn, you sold it!" And I just sent her that. <laughs> well, look at how she reacted. Yeah, she's That's happy lit. to see it. 
Eric, Eric, Eric <laughs> drop that to Neil later. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. So you got a little stinker in you. you yeah. Got a little stinker oh yeah. In you. I love that. Okay. For sure. Mischief in you. But yeah. You're noble. You're like a. You're like a Bosco cheese stick Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. heard How that. long are you sitting on that? <laughs> a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> a couple minutes. Like, there's gotta be a place for me to fucking Literally, I Bosco didn't hear shit. anything that was just said for the last 45 seconds. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, da, 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 da. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Waiting to talk the Mike Lester story. Go ahead. Does it ever translate? Like, do you take that online? Like, when you post a clip, if someone says something, do you ever like fuck with them online too? Or is it no? Just- if I post something online and someone says something shitty, uh, I usually just pin the comment. And then yeah. let people tear them apart. <laughs> what a great! Honestly, yeah. you're the first person to say that. Yeah. I think on the pod so far, that's a great strategy. Yeah. That's, that's 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 a tool you can use, folks. I was yeah. just gonna say that is like the best strategy we've yeah. heard so far. That's great. It's just expose them. Yeah, I usually like yeah. the comment yeah. and then pin it, and then yeah. everyone tears them apart. You let the, the, you let the Aiden <laughs> Hive take care yeah. of it and really go after them. Yeah, because a lot of the people that like. On the clips that get people mad, it's usually like because I said something sure. that warrants a person getting angry. Sure. And then the rest of the people are like, shut the fuck up, bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> awesome. You guys take care of them. But in a way, you're giving yeah. them clout. You know, their yeah. comment gets mm-hmm. a lot of traction. People go to their profile, DM mm-hmm. them. That's traction. Yeah. Yeah. We like That's traction cool. here on yeah. the pod. That's we love we traction. When we pin this, put that on there, let them come after us. Yeah. We'll mm-hmm. get some traction. Let's You'll get some traction. Yeah. yeah. Do you, but you're not like a, are you, na- you're not a naturally, I, this is an assumption I guess I'm making, but you, would you consider yourself like a naturally online person? Like, do you like being online? Do you care? Uh, I mean, I'll get into a bad hole of yeah, like okay. being on TikTok. Okay. Yeah. I'll go in rabbit holes. You're and, always but, on there when I, when like the weekly times I pop it, you're mm-hmm. always on, online. Yeah. You're yeah. always on there. I'm just scrolling through. Usually it's like. I got a big, I love watching like car accidents or like uh, fights. <laughs> and sometimes God. I'll see, and then I'll get into like where they like blue highlight the comment on TikTok where okay. it's like robber gets owned. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, I want to see that. Sure. And it's just dudes getting shot. And I'll yeah. be like in a hole <laughs> for like yeah. two hours of that. On your belly in your closet, just scrolling through TikTok. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love dudes that. Dudes getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> That's your like sleep ASMR. Like everyone else is like waves crashing on yeah. a beach. You're like a guy who totally deserves it getting yeah. fucking. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Guys getting winged playlists. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's great. Is TikTok your favorite like social media thing? You think? I think so now. It has become that. Because I kind of use it like YouTube, where like I'll like watch a video and then I'll go down a rabbit hole and learn yeah. about the thing that I just watched. Yeah, learn about the <laughs> family who just got shot. Yeah, yeah. about his shooting. Yeah, usually like for a while I was big into like Nate and Nick Diaz TikToks. Oh, they're great. Okay. So I would watch like shit like that. Are they fighters? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I would watch. Well, I would, what is their TikTok? What is their. A like? lot of edits with like Biggie playing and stuff and them just kicking the shit out of people. It's so cool. Okay. Uh, it's so cool. Or like war stuff, like Stalingrad. Okay. I saw one pop up and yeah. I was like, oh, 3,000 people died every yeah. X amount of minutes. Sure. I was like, oh, I got to learn more yeah, about you're, that. You're is a history for buff. I do like history. You like yeah. history. You like learning yeah. about it? I used to a lot. You yeah. like docs? Yeah, if I I don't have any streaming services right you now. You ever though. watch the the Pacific? That one that's like narrated by Tom Hanks. Mm-mm. My dad loves that shit. He bought it on Blu-ray. Yeah. Oh, then, did then he? my sister stole his Blu-ray player. <laughs> <laughs> Blu-ray was just a real flash in the pan. Yeah, that was a, that was a bad she investment for a lot of place. people. <laughs> <laughs> Left him all his Blu-rays, but took the Blu-ray the player. player. Love you, sis. Shout out. <laughs> no, what's great about you is that no one will ever worry, like wonder about your Joker like origin story. Like, we know, <laughs> yeah. like it's right there. Yeah. It's all. It's like mom, dad, yeah. sister. It's all right there. We totally get it. Totally unmedicated. It's my guy. Yeah, love it. We love you, buddy. We love you. Dude. We love, we love you, too. you, man. That's great. We love you. Uh, do we want to get into some comments? Let's look at some, some comments. Let's look at some comments. Unless did you, did anyone say anything weird? to anyone oh, sorry, at the shows yeah. say anything weird? To you no, this week? just like the traditional like. 
How do you not understand how to just fucking disengage? Like, how many times do I have to say thank you and just have a dead eye stare? The post before, show. Yeah, yeah, where you're like, they're like, you were great. And you're like, oh, thank you so much. And, then, and you're like, yeah. And then <laughs> you're like, all right. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go away. I used to live in a small town too. And I'm yeah. like, all right, here we go. Now I'm locked in. My biggest one I hate is like when I'm selling merch and they're clearly not going to fucking buy anything mm, and sure. they want to get into it. It's like, get the, the fuck, fuck out of here. I see the cash in other people's hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can change their minds at any minute. They want back. a koozie. Yeah. All right? yeah. They want a koozie right now. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. I get a lot of... Um, if I talk about adoption, people think I've made it up. The worst, <laughs> the worst part of my set that nobody ever likes. They're like, did you make that up for jokes? Yeah. I'm like, well, if I did, nobody liked it. <laughs> what are we doing? This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, the post. That's the, the funniest shit ever. It's so you wild. Make it up. Why know, would dude. you make? You're like the lady that wasn't there in 9/11. <laughs> you're just making up the Steve worst. Ren is shit. Easy. Steve Ren is easy of adoption humor. Like, yeah. yeah I actually have, uh, I know all my parents. Holy Wait, fuck. Before we do that, do you have a comment that's ever that's uh, ever stuck out to you, negative or positive? Honestly, I want to know, do you have like a really nice comment that you ever remember and like hold on to? A nice comment? Either online, post-show, anything. That's uh, not for me. That's not for me. <laughs> trying to think. Not anything that's, I always remember the bad shit. Sure. That's you know, pretty natural. I had the weirdest one after a show was a woman came up to me. And she was like, that was great. Do you skateboard? And I was like, no, I don't. And then she was like, oh, we got to take a photo. My son's going to love this. And I was like, I don't skateboard. <laughs> and then we took a picture together. And like nowhere in my set did I talk about it. She grabs me by the shoulders and goes, don't ever say you're going to kill yourself. And I was like, all right. Did, did you say that in your set? No, I never said anything about suicide in my set. Oh, That's one of your bits. I do have a bit about that woman. But I did not talk about suicide <laughs> before a, that. I want to kick flip into the afterlife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn. She's just like your number one fan, but she has not she doesn't know anything about you actually. She has yeah. no clue what you're That's actually talking so about. Funny. There's like That's hilarious. people who come up to me and they're genuinely concerned. Yeah, that I get. Yeah. That makes sense. And here's I'm like, what's of, the deal? Here's a rule of thumb though. Yeah. If they ask you that, just say you do, because she could have like got you a skateboard or something. You could have flipped yeah. that shit. Yeah, True. lie. Like yeah. that's why when people ask me if I'm lying about being adopted, I say yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Find me a family. Yep. That's what I need. We want to read some comments. Let's get get some, some comments. brought us some comments. He's nice enough to bring us some comments. Here's one from uh, Steve <laughs> Shepard. This dude is wildly unlikable. <laughs> I love that one. And, and it's a series of them that go back to back. Oh, there's a lot on yeah. this one specifically. I was posting it and I was like, I know this is going to be dog shit. What's, what's the clip? So I did a thing. A brand yeah. Oh, we can't talk about of, it? Okay. And I did it. And I like that bit you did, by the way. The basketball hoop yeah. cemented. That's one of your best. It's ones. one of the better ones, but they the kind of sucked, though. Did cut it weird. York? Yeah, it yeah, kind of got cut blows. weird. So it just sounds more like a statement okay. rather than a joke. Okay. And I was like, ah, whatever. And you I posted one it. one crowd reaction shot where they were like not making any noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, one lady was like this. Yeah. So basically, even before anything happened in the comments, you were kind of getting trolled by the brand yeah. that put yeah. it out. But the editor. The, of the thing book. was, the show was great. Really? Yeah, it was yeah. a great show. And then it, I think it was just like how it got cut. Or something didn't end up, it's and I important. Yeah. posted it, and I was like, "Ah, this probably is not going to be well received." And then I read the comments, and I was like, "You're not wrong." Nailed it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So right under Steve Shepard, it's a CRM Gary one two six. Not funny at all. NGL. <laughs> And then my favorite one, Duncan says, looks like Matt McCusker back when he sold pills in college. <laughs> <laughs> Matt McCusker is the guy who does Matt and Shane's secret yep. podcast, right? Mm -hmm. For everybody. He's another podcaster. I don't think you look like him at all. Thank you. you, you but I wasn't there when he was selling pills in college, yeah. so I don't yeah. know. I feel like the hair is similar, but that's about it. Yeah, now that I got the cut. Yeah, yeah. you got bangs, mm -hmm. but that's about it. That's a fresh cut. When did you get your hair cut? Uh, two days ago, went to sports club. You get cut in the closet? No. <laughs> yeah, I, bring the barber Cut in the closet, yeah. album title. That's pretty good. <laughs> I rolled over out of my closet and went to sports clips. <laughs> nice. 
Yep, here we go. Uh, here's here's one. It's the same video. I mean, yeah. you're just getting oh, banged I in mean, this video. I mean, I'm getting put over a barrel <laughs> and taking it every day and twice on Sunday. Uh, uh, Mike Hoon T4, <laughs> that's funny? Question mark? Um, so they didn't, yeah, the, the people for this thing that we can't talk about didn't. They fucked you on Yeah, they fucked you on <laughs> like, well, they, they really, they really did you dirty, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here's one from Joe Brony. Is Ron Weasley? Oh. That's it. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which also Which no. I but, don't see, but. No, not yeah. at all. Yeah. Uh, Robert Yee Tree, I agree, Wisconsin is a joke. That is a that is an important part of who you are. You are from Wisconsin, yeah. and people need to know that. Yeah, I don't know that that was paramount to the bit that you were doing, but apparently. yeah, people. I did end up getting a lot of people from Wisconsin following me, which was cool. Um, you but, should do a Wisconsin travel commercial. I'd love to do like, that. Hi, but I made McCluskey. The thing is, Charlie Barron's has the Wisconsin market cornered. <laughs> that is true, and that fucker's you know so who inoffensive. That guy is? Who the like, fuck is that? He's, he's the you betcha guy. Yeah, he's like, yeah. hey, what? Do you need some cream? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> I go to Quick Trip yeah. every day and get coffee. Then he does like front facing videos yeah. a lot, oh. and like he's got a heavy like Midwest accent. Yeah. It's probably I I know nothing about him yeah. whether he's a good bad dude whatever, but like I just know that he's got a heavy yep. the heavy Wisconsin, Wisconsin accent. accent. You just gotta give him the platform, and dude. he. Stop is not representing what Wisconsin really is. What is dude. Wisconsin really to you? To me, Wisconsin is drinking all the time, driving fucked up. Like, <laughs> see, uh, see, you know what's funny? That's why you'd like Mexico. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. People drinking everywhere. When we were in our Uber from the airport, there was a guy drinking a Corona in his truck. Awesome. Love that. Like stuck in rush hour, just vibing. So yeah, so I that's did that like, two years ago on 35W. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any DUIs? None. Good Somehow you, I got away. I got out of it. My buddy did, and I had to pick him up. But and that was when I was like, oh yeah, maybe I shouldn't go back. <laughs> You're like, damn, you can go to jail for this. Yeah. Nobody talks about well, that. Well, we didn't go to jail because in Wisconsin you don't go to jail the first time. What? Yeah, they just wait for someone to pick you up. What? Yeah, because it's a misdemeanor. That's amazing. Yeah. He uh, he blew so high. He drove the wrong way up a one way at a cop, and then they pulled him over. He blew an insane amount to the point where they took him to the hospital and did like a blood <laughs> test because they were like, "This can't be right." <laughs> and then the blood test was like, "No, he's drunker yeah, than he was." It's got worse and uh, then they just I got a call from the cop, and he was like. Hey, uh, I heard you're going to come pick your buddy up, blah, blah, blah. We're at uh, the Mayo Clinic in downtown La Crosse. And I was like, all right. And I drove down, picked him up. Cop gets out of the car and I had to like sign a piece of paper or something. And he's like, "Uh, so you're the comedian, huh? And I was like, yeah. And then he gets out of the back of the car and he goes, I told him you were a fucking comedian. And I was like, nice. Oh That's the God. ultimate troll. Yeah. <laughs> and what's hilarious is like you have jokes about drinking and driving. So yeah. he's looking you up on IG. He's yeah. like, God damn it. Yeah. He's, That's where these boys get it. Yeah. <laughs> he's running your fucking history online. Dude, you're getting absolutely destroyed at the same video. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you didn't go to school and you're a stupid <laughs> comedian. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's like when you're doing when you're doing like branded content. That's not for anybody. Like, that shouldn't... If you're trying to sell, like, a blender, like, having a stand-up comedian be the voice of that thing makes no sense. So, like, of course, it's going to be a lot of people talking shit and hating because it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah. Like, Here, why is this even... Why here's, is this yeah. here's a rapid-fire one. These are three <laughs> separate comments. Okay. Forgot to laugh. Sorry. Such bad <laughs> comedy. So many comedians all over the place. Just <laughs> not funny at all. So much <laughs> random friend groups and sarcasm with people in their friend groups is way funnier than most. I mean, that's accurate. <laughs> yeah. I would say they're, the average person is funnier that than That got 23 yeah. likes, that yeah, last one. Yeah, yeah, people agreed yeah, with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. All of them paid for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This was on the Shutter Island one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, MD Hendry says, nice. Your next joke going to be, I worked with homosexuals and I didn't realize I was a F slur the whole time. Oh, or I worked with black teens and I didn't realize oh I was a N word the whole time. <laughs> Please, we'll love this series. Make sure to say the actual words so the joke really slaps. And then 765 people tore apart because I pinned it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I found out she has like an autistic daughter, and people were like, "Shut up, bitch!" And it was like, "Damn, <laughs> this is so awesome. You should have just kept your fucking mouth shut." <laughs> This got 959 yeah. likes. Mm-hmm. Your Shutter Island joke is about autism? Well, it's about he word, says yeah. the R word in yeah. it. Oh. And yeah. they don't oh. like that. No, they don't mm-hmm. like that online. They're not particularly no. a fan of that. Well, yeah. sir, the not R slur. everyone doesn't like it. Sure. Yep. <laughs> the R slur, as I've been told it's called. I got someone, someone was pissed at me after a show because I did that joke. And he was like, my daughter's autistic. And I was like, well, I didn't say her daughter was retarded. <laughs> And then he got even angrier. And I'm like, all right. Have you ever fought? Does anyone ever try to fight you after shows or anything? No. Okay. I've got my size. I've been this size for a long time. I got sure. really good at diffusing. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I think, too, the people that say this would never fight anyone. No. Well, just the guy after the show maybe thinks like yeah. maybe occasionally. And I feel like you're in places where there's going to be a guy who's like, I want to kill someone today. Yeah. You know? But yeah. the you thing is, right BFW on the wrong night. But he says the R word. Guy, that guy's like high five. I was going to say the <laughs> biggest <laughs> guy is usually <laughs> on my side after fair. watching my set. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. They call you like in defense of you. They just call you a different slur. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, the Blue Lives Matter flag guys mm-hmm. are like, yes, mm-hmm. the voice of my generation. Use, sure. Yeah, those guys fucking love me, and they don't realize some. A lot of the jokes I do are like ironic yeah but they're like he gets it and I was, i'm like whatever sure. when yeah. i walk on stage with an nra hat they're like absolutely yeah. and it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, i don't yeah. know man i don't think you're missing the point yeah <laughs> here's you'll, it you'll take their money yeah 100 <laughs> percent. here's another pinned one from a sunday mimosa <laughs> club you can tell by his nose this dude's a legit alcoholic oh, like he's making you? a joke but there is truth in jokes we shouldn't normalize potentially harming ourselves or others we should be using our minds to think about how to make Make ourselves in the world better again i get it's a joke but what's the joke that drunk driving isn't that bad that's not a joke it's retarded <laughs> that's what they said at the yes end. yes and then 222 people piled on him <laughs> did you pin that one? Oh yeah, yeah. in, uh, in defense of drunk driving sir, they were sir, like sir, shut sir. up that's hilarious Dude, you are you. I mean, you are getting absolutely bodied. Yeah, bodied every day. You have a plethora. Yep. Wow. Should we read more? I mean, should I we mean, read any of ours? I think like, we should read some of the ones we got. I get it. They all yeah. hate them. I understand yeah. it. It's, it's fine. We we <laughs> we we got some subtler ones than re- this. Re- honestly, re- really quick, the a mule commented, "A fucking punk whose parents didn't beat them enough." I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Was How do you respond, one. Aiden? Do you feel like you didn't get beat enough? Uh, I don't know. I think it was the right amount. Yeah, I think you're doing. <laughs> I think you're doing just fine. Yeah, I'm doing good. I love this one because you get this a lot uh, uh, from Joey Cuz Walmart Danny Duncan. Yep. I get you, Danny Duncan a did lot. Did you know who Danny Duncan was before these people started? No. So I had to look it up. Did mm-hmm. you know? Oh, I knew him. Okay. And I think what I said to you was like, I think it's interesting because like looking at that guy, it seems like you're living complete opposite lives. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Duncan is a YouTuber who like, I don't know, is he just like rich he's, and just does He's a multimillionaire stuff? that does stunts. He's like he, riding dirt he bikes hot. naked. He's, he's hot. hot. Yeah. He's, he's, hot. Yeah. he's hot. Yeah. Th- that wasn't the part that I meant was opposite. <laughs> 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 he just said a thing. I didn't know he was going to say that. <laughs> Neil but, said that twice. Like, he's, he's hot. so hot. Looking right at Aiden. Yeah. Like, Aiden's yeah. a dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Danny yeah. Duncan is for the boys. I got enough pull I can get a woman in the closet. I'm yeah. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. There you, you go. Riz. You got risk. So I just think that's really funny that they're they're like, oh, you remind us of this guy, and you, in my opinion, probably couldn't be more different. More different, yeah. dude. Yeah. He's probably a horrible hang and has the most money anyone's ever had, and you're yeah. a great hang. <laughs> Medium money. No money. Yeah. Medium yeah. to zero money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I get Evan money. Peters a lot, too. Sure, that's uh, like a American hair. horror story guy, yep. Quicksilver, or yeah. whatever, and all the other stuff. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I see that a little bit. Maybe like yeah. his little brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get like drowned Paul Dano. <laughs> you get that yeah, for yeah. you? If they like found him after he drowned. I feel like he has a bigger face than you. More round. I'm getting there. My face is getting fatter. You think so? I'm trying. That's good. So, so that, you know, life is going good. Put some mass on. Yeah. 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 Are you okay? 
<laughs> your energy, your energy between the beginning of this podcast to right now has switched so drastically. What are you talking about? Yeah, I was like, I could fucking drown in a pool. I guess. No, I no, know. that's what they say. Yeah, Not yeah. that I want to do. Yeah. Okay. You know, I remember the negative ones too. Yeah. <laughs> What's the negative one that stuck with you? Well, the drown Paul Dana one, that's obviously. <laughs> Let's dig into that. Well, he's doing great right now. He's everywhere. Yes. So he's doing good. Getting, that's a good place for you to be. I just need one more role. Yeah. One more role. You could do it, baby. It might be coming. You got Danny Duncan in 10 years here. Yep. What does that mean? You're younger than him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like 10 years younger After than him. After he hits the pinnacle and yeah. starts coming back He's on down. the downswing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Danny Duncan in his mid-40s. <laughs> is me now. If you take Danny Duncan and Evan Peters and put them together, you get Aiden. Yeah. I can see that. That's right. a good yeah. one. Back okay. and forth. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. test tube baby of Evan Peters yeah. and Danny Duncan. <laughs> uh, this one I just thought was funny. Uh, it just says, this Michael Scott that's nephew. Yeah, that's also uh, that's played by Evan Peters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's for real. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that's who that was. That's yeah. hilarious. Mm-hmm. Okay, that that that's pretty much like a theme on every episode we've done, especially with dudes. I feel like yeah, everyone's like this guy reminds me of this other guy. Like yeah. if you're online and you're a dude, you remind someone else yep. of somebody. So. Well, you spin it. It's like you're being typecasted, and it's a good typecast. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. It's I, a great not, typecast. Yeah. I'm you know. not mad about it. I get uh, I get Craig Robinson sometimes. <laughs> no. Oh, I yeah. just do that a little bit. Uh, when I'm when my hair is longer, I get Ron Funches. I was just yeah. gonna oh, say the yeah, Funch dude. Man, yeah, yeah. The Funch Daddy, <laughs> the Funch Daddy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's never really helped my career in any yeah, way, shape, yeah. or form. So honestly, only hindered me. They're like, we already have you. We don't need this. And I was like, yeah, that's a good point. You going out against Craig Robinson? Toe to toe. I almost got led into. I, I'm pretty sure uh, when I went to the Laugh Factory in Chicago, like in 2015 or something. Ooh. They're like, "Oh, you're a comedian." Like I just started doing stand up, basically. Yeah. So no one should know who I am in Chicago, right? Mm-hmm. But I went to the Laugh Factory just to check out a show with a friend, and the uh, like the f- person at the door was like, "Hey, you're like you're a comedian, right?" And I was like. I mean, yeah, I guess. You know, like I was really, I really like should have known that this didn't make any sense. And they were like, "Do you want to go up?" And I, in um, in like my head, I was like, "I know I'm not who they think I am, <laughs> but I should say yes to this. Yeah, right? yeah, like, this is yeah. my big. What if I go up and I crush? You know? Yeah. Uh, instead, I paid like forty dollars and sat there. <laughs> and Damn. It was good. It was one of the best shows I've ever seen in my entire life. Shout out Live Factory Chicago. It was great. <laughs> you should have gone up, man. Yeah, you that imagine been so put funny. you behind a piano yeah. and you're like, ah. Oh. I would have liked to g- go along with it long enough to know who they thought I was. You've seen him on Pineapple Express, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Seth Rogen. Yeah. Like, wait, that's what? the guy. <laughs> James Franco. <laughs> I'm like, keep your college girls away from me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, shit. Allegedly. Uh, yeah. So we all get that. Okay, oh, we yeah. all have like a little celebrity. I like that the the typecast thing. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. What do you is like a segment? Are you saying? Yeah, just something we just did. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's brain cells are shutting down individually <laughs> one by one. We, this is the second episode that we. It just happens. Today, it's so like my he's nap a, he's time. A little, he's a little done with it. Where I just had the stomach <laughs> flu three down. days ago. No, I'm powering up, dude. Should we read Aiden? I mean, these are horrible that, that you sent us. But, it ripped me apart. But we'll still. It's so funny. I was reading them on the couch this morning and I had my coffee. So, so this is a thing that we do to our guests that we need to be better about. So you're not sitting on your couch. You're like, I never look at the comments. But today, I looked at all the comments mm-hmm. and they hate me. That's not what we want to do. Here. It was, uh, to be honest, I got a kick out of most of them. Because I, like I said, I was like, you're not wrong. Yeah. So sure, I can't yeah. really be too pissed about you. Sure. Here's a little contradiction for your for some of your thing. Uh, yeah. Too rich, bitch about being poor to your other rich farmer dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That's that one, one actually made me laugh. That's a banger. That's great. When someone goes in wholeheartedly and is completely wrong, I like that. Yeah. That's fun. Wait, do you have farmer friends, though? You got to have some farmer friends. You got to. Uh, yeah, there's some farmer buddies. A lot of it, though, it was phased out by industrial farming. A lot of the family farms. So you either got to be in a massive amount of debt and just be a dirt yeah. farmer for yeah. the rest of your fucking life or... 
get out of the game. That is what farming is yeah. too. You're just in a massive amount of debt. You're working all the yep. time. Your your kids have to inherit it or all otherwise. The debt. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's tough. You sell it to like uh, just like a big company, right? Just like Golden Plum. Yeah, you can sell out. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah, we got a Golden Plum. Hell yeah. Um, man, we ran through these, dude. Did we do all the ones that we got? Uh, yeah, we did all the ones we I got. I love this one here. Which uh, one? Scroll up. Yep. Uh, this one? Yeah, the thread there. Uh, so this is, uh, dude, is this off of your the fucking... The same one, The yeah. same one, your same newest clip. I understand exactly what you are saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then D says, remember to add antifreeze. <laughs> User 96. <laughs> then, no, you don't. He's fake as hell. <laughs> yeah, with three exclamation points after, no, you don't. No, you don't. He's fake as hell. <laughs> <laughs> dude all of these comments are negative on this yeah. video oh yeah did you get any positive comments here not really i mean that one i pretty much was just like i gotta send this out and not pay attention to this because i was like i'm gonna get ripped sure. to shreds okay i have a question wait yeah. neil do you have a question first neil do you want something i was gonna say i don't know if we did we get to the the still funny though I don't think we did. Oh, yeah, There's one yeah. more page there because then the, the the one right under there at the bottom of that, it's pretty funny. Okay, hold on one second. I do have a question for you. Yeah. So do you feel do you feel like the positives have outweighed the negatives for, like, doing essentially branded content? Like, for this one, are you like, what the fuck is this? Is this what you expected? Did you have any- Yeah, I mean, when I got the clip, I was like... <sighs> So you knew when you got, but when you were filming, you were like, I don't know, this will be good. Yeah. When I filmed it, I was like, oh, this was a great show. This will be fun. This will be fun. I was worried about it going into it. Okay. Then, yeah. You're making money too. So it's like, what do you care? No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, That's a good point. (laughs) Like most of the time we post this shit, we make no money and they'll dog us anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very good point. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, you know, we're at a level. So if you're ever on the edge, like, should I do it? Shouldn't I do it? You're getting paid? Do it. Yeah. That was the hard. I think the hardest part about this is. I, in the joke, refer to you either become an electrician or you drink the rest of your life. I just made, like, a broad generalization. Yeah. (laughs) And someone was like, it was a lot of electricians telling me how much they made every year. That's hilarious. And I had to fight the urge to tell them how much I made to make this for them to get mad. And I'm like, you're freezing your ass off in a fucking barn, you stupid piece of shit. And I'm like, I couldn't say any of that. Did you make a bag? Yeah. You made a bag? Yeah. So I was like, I just wanted to let them know. Cause I'm like, I know what towny hick dumb shit you are. And I want to <laughs> tell you how much money I made doing this nonsense thing that you had to take the journeyman's test three fucking times. Cause you're a dipshit. I love how you made a lot of money and it's already gone. <laughs> oh yeah. That's it's about it blown. Sad. I got a closet and a van and I'm like, I'm set. <laughs> No, I'm like, how kit. much do you think an electrician makes? I don't yeah, know if yeah. that's enough. Aiden made but seven hundred and fifty dollars, <laughs> but in one shoot, no, no, you I did. was yeah, like, you're doing, you're crazy. I was yeah. like, yeah. you guys don't make this. That is, you that made is what funny. they made in like a week, probably a month. I would guess. really, yeah. Damn, how much yeah. do you think? To our electricians, electricians out there, yeah. Sorry, you got to hear it like this, but Aiden's caked up with that cash. <laughs> Everyone in the trade, he's in a van yeah. now. Yeah. He's in a van. He used to now. sleep in a van. Now he has a van that yep. he can sleep in if he wants to. Yep. Yeah, but he's not choosing if he to. Right feel now. in the closet. He so, can go to the van. I can go to the go. van. Which arguably the van is nicer. That is nobody does that though. Nobody does a flat out like. Hey, like if someone's like, hey, you suck. Hey, whatever. This is trash. Just post a receipt of how much you got. Like someone should just post yeah. the actual bank statement yeah. for what they got. That's a great troll. Oh, like, yeah. That's fucking sick. That was what I wanted to hit him with. I wanted so badly to be like, I made this much amount of money. I'm going to need fucking you. Mouth. Next time you get a bag for something and yeah. if people talk shit, I'm going to need you to post them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it's worth it. I think yeah. that's or pretty just post bit. the purchases. Yeah, so like look at what yeah, I got. Yeah, that's pretty it's, good. It's the Facebook Marketplace van yeah. posting. Yeah. Like, look at my empire. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's probably like so. At the end of the podcast, usually we like to come up with like a response to the trolls or like we yeah. one of these comments they have a response. But I think the response is posting yeah. what you bought with the money for the thing that they're shitting <laughs> yeah. at. Absolutely. And like, and your engagement's only helping me. Honestly, yeah. thank you so much. Exactly. It's like I don't think they realize that their comments. 
That's why I pin them because yeah. it's like you just create a cycle. I might use keep that. Going. If yeah. people are talking shit, I might start pinning. Yeah, so that's yeah. a pretty good Cause idea. Because the first thing you do when you see a video is go in the comments, yeah. or at least I do, and then the first one you see, you're like, that guy's a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Well, th- um, that's what's so helpful, too, and that's kind of, like, the secret to, like, vi- vi- virality in most videos is, like, conflict creates comments. Yep. You know, like, you want a fight going on yeah. in the comments. Like, 100%. that's how you get a thousand plus comments. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to read a couple more? We got a couple out? more. This is from uh, your Shutter Island clip. Um, from HKOR, you work with mentally disabled kids and use them for your comedy, fine, but to drop the R bomb, shame on you. Still funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Still funny, though, is the best Still way. Funny, <laughs> like, I hate your guts. I hope you die, but pretty good clip, yeah. honestly. Like <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah. Oh, God. Look, I sent that to my mother. That's pretty good. Yeah, really good. <laughs> And then at that ne- if you look at that next comment there, look the, at the, bo- the, yeah, the bottom. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, this is from Reformed Cole. Uh, drunk driving is heavily stigmatized, but it shouldn't be. <laughs> Just another of our freedoms vaporized by the nanny state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straight so up. He's agreeing with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, would agree yeah, with that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. That one you're like, hell I yeah, brother. I do think drunk driving is a little, it's taken a little too far sometimes. Some people are like, it's like. Well, how are you going to get Depends home? on where you are, too, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I, yeah, let's get into it. What do you, so what, what's acceptable? What's too far for you? Uh, well, I've been thinking a lot about that. Like, what distinguishes a drunk driving accident from a regular accident? Alcohol. And it's like... Alcohol, <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's like... Right, right. Yeah, exactly. Because you're, like, inebriated. Been, no. No, no, no. about it for weeks. It's like alcohol, <laughs> Yes. But what do you, you have fun on alcohol. You're having a good time and people are like, it's so selfish what you were doing. So it's like, okay, if I'm on my way to work and I have an accident, I kill two people. It's like a tragic thing for everybody involved. But if I'm out having fun before I get in the accident, selfish piece of shit. I mean, what what were you thinking when you were doing that? It's like, I was having a good time and now I'm trying to get home. (laughs) You know, <laughs> I'll say this, Aiden, not your strongest argument. I believe it to my core, not dude. your strongest and argument. I've been, we'll use this I as drive, the social clip, though. I so drive say. better drunk or high. That's what everybody says. Though. I do, because if I'm sober, I'm like, oh, I can go 75 it, it, miles an hour. Did you drive here? 55? Yeah. We'll get you a beer for the road. So yeah. I don't want you to hurt anybody. Yet. No, <laughs> it has been scientifically yeah. proven. You do drive better sober. <laughs> No, no, and I honestly think it's people who are like being negligent while also drunk. It's like you're probably using your phone. I mean, to the point where I haven't been. I mean, I've been fucked up and I've driven. But if you got to pick me up off the ground, I'm not even. I don't want. I don't have the motivation to get behind the wheel. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I sure. think legally, I think we have to say don't drive drunk. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But like, but I love your conviction. We need yeah. another hotline yeah. number yeah. under we're, this episode we're now. So, every episode we've done is yeah. just like you can't actually do anything that anybody's saying it's here. Just but demonetized. we're having the time. We'll make I, a banner underneath. We disavow everything said by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This I is stuff for the funny stuff. We like the funny stuff. Which yeah, is this pretty is much parody. All yeah, right? I mean, back home, you can't get home without driving drunk. Where, oh. where you're from specifically because yeah. you're from a very very small yeah. town right um yeah i get i get i do get what you're saying yeah i um don't know that anyone would agree with that or i know no one would agree with that because they'd be like well you could have a sober cab or something you know like, you know someone who's and then I, what I you agree. gotta do is call the fucking tavern league and then you gotta wake some dude up who's <laughs> like my dad died a couple years ago in a drunk driving accident now i'm giving back now you're sitting 45 minutes getting drunker it's like i could just go home now <laughs> <laughs> aiden has thought about this way too much yeah. you how old are you 25. Dude, you sound like so many 50-year-old uncles. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. When you said Tavern League, I just time-traveled yeah. into like a different... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> You're on like relapse watch with that <laughs> rationale of thinking. You're like, you're yeah. like one I mean, sniff away. From- also, yeah, very important to note, you don't drink right now, no, correct? No. Yeah, you're right, not a drinker. Right you, now. Been, yeah. right you, no, now. you've been sober for like two years. Two years yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the time will come. 
That's uh, how much yeah. this man loves drunk driving is that he's been sober for two years and he's like, God, I just miss it. You I know? do. I like, honestly, you just clear your head. Sometimes I would get home and then I would go, I didn't drive enough. And I would go take back roads and I would listen to music. I'd drive for another hour. <laughs> I put it in my neighbor's front lawn one Just time. Just middle finger to God. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Turning it into a hobby almost. Oh my Your plan God, life dude. is a highway. Just speeding <laughs> through a cornfield. Oh, yeah. like, oh, it's stuffy in here. You put your feet on the dash. <laughs> yeah. like, come yeah. on. <laughs> Uh, I think if we're going rascal flats for drunk driving, it's probably a broken highway, broken whatever serenade. Every long lost dream. Yeah. Yeah. You know that song? I don't. And we Uh, can't can't, can't, can't afford it. So we kind of take it out. I like country, but I don't know much rascal flats. So we're going to close on something, Aiden, because this is kind of a in real life troll that happened to you. Oh, my God. I completely forgot about this. That um, it's so unique, but um, so... We're going to talk about how your ex got married yep. and invited your parents, mm-hmm. but not you. Nope, not what me. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave your house in. is haunted. Dude. Just leave it in. Our house you is haunted. come to a THC seltzer tasting with me after this? No, I don't, I don't do a weed. I feel not like. Not anymore? No. I thought I, you were I, back Well, I relapsed. Weed. That's what that was. Oh. I kind of relapsed yeah. in November. But um, yeah, I just can't do weed anymore. No. For my mental health. Yeah. I mean, if uh, you should drive drunk together, you should do like, yeah. next time you both decide to relapse, if you do. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Do it together. Yeah. Yeah. And do like a little like Mario Kart situation. We should have my dad relapse. We just do, (laughs) we do a podcast in the back seat. Yeah. Well, he, he, cause driving him through a Taco Bell drunk was like one of the highlights of my life. I bet. Cause they forgot his Frutista, which Mm -hmm. is, was like a a popular drink at the time. So see, he's in the back seat. So I just drive, I just back up. So the back seat is lined up with the fucking window. Sure. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Frutista, yo! He's just shouting. He's banging on the drive through window going, Frutista, yo! And they just silently pass it to him through it. Awesome. And I was like, this is an alpha male. But anyway, so... So, yeah, we got... Uh, the one thing I... you I think you told me this just in, like, casual conversation, and it stuck with me, and it's probably one of the funniest things. Yeah. Uh, so the best troll that you could possibly have is your ex got married recently, mm-hmm. and when she got married... She didn't invite you. Nope. Understandable. Didn't get, we get it. Invite. Uh, you were together for how long? Five years? Three. Three years? Yeah. Didn't invite you. Okay. Nope. But she did invite your parents. Yep. They drove two and a half hours <laughs> north and got a hotel for it. <laughs> <laughs> and said it was a beautiful wedding. They went to. Yeah. Like, that's, that's what's true. funny. That's yeah. what's funny is yeah. they went. No hesitation. Well, yeah, we got to support. Yeah. They She's went, like a daughter to us. And they yeah. love Essentially, it. that's how my mom feels. Yeah. yeah. And now you got to now you got to live up to that wedding. Yeah. Uh, I when you do think. your broom closet wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you have any type? Did you feel any type of way when one you found out she was getting married, then two you found out your parents were invited? Uh, okay. I knew she was getting married because she worked with my mom. My mom oh, yeah. gave her a job when we were together. Okay, oh. and then after we broke up, she kept the job for four more years. She promoted her actually. She's like, she, "You're gonna need this." <laughs> she did end up getting promoted at the end. Yeah, okay. but wow. then. Yeah, I invited her, and I knew she was getting married because my mom... No, actually, I saw it on Instagram, and then I was like, did you see she's getting married to my mom? And she's like, oh, yeah, I've known for a while. And I was like, what, you didn't... That wasn't a conversation <laughs> yeah. point? Asking Wait, how they never work told is. you. No. <laughs> Were they going to go in silence and just never tell you? This Probably, yeah. Wow. Dude. Do you see pictures on Facebook of the wedding? Like your parents give them big thumbs up and smiling. I mean, I did see like pictures of like the dance and stuff. It was a very nice wedding. And I was like, my parents are fucking in the audience yeah, just, just watching. At any up. point, do you think like I should go? To the wedding? Yeah. I was, I would have gone yeah. had I been invited. Her dad and I, when we broke up, I would go out to Tom's bar and see her dad. And I was like, well, I know he, he can't really drive. So I would take him back 
to their place, and she was still living there at the time. And You're then poking he and a I, hole in your drunk driving argument right now. Just <laughs> yeah. so you know, there's always a person to take you. But yeah, yeah. we <clears throat> I would drive him back home, and then we would just sit in the garage and chill, and he'd fall asleep with a cigarette in his mouth. So like he and I were cool. Was it? Do you think her inviting your parents might have been then because of that? Maybe it was like a revenge. It could have been. Parental. Maybe I don't know. I know I don't think she particularly liked me hanging out with her dad. Is she that yeah. jaded? I don't know. Was that part of why thing. it didn't I don't work know. out? He only knew her for three years. He didn't know her very well. You got to get married. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she was We barely jaded. spoke in three years. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, fascinating to me. That yeah. really is like, oh, you, you knew exactly what you were doing. There was an intention behind this. You didn't get invited. Your parents are fucking there. It's a there. fucking rom-com yeah, movie. It's like a Ben Stiller movie. written rom-com. Yeah. And they went and uh, my parents were like, it was so beautiful. I was like, why are you telling me this? <laughs> yeah, 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 You didn't yeah. even tell me they were getting fucking married. Now you can't stop talking about the wedding. Yeah. That's so hilarious. You okay. ever ask your ex why? Why what? She didn't invite you. I probably could. Where's the invite? I, uh, I mean, this might be time for a little you want, troll play. You, you want to call her? No. Oh, what? No, God. No, 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 no. That'd be, <laughs> that's not what it is. Yeah, that'd be bad news. If okay, here, here's our new segment we're working on. Should we yeah. try it? Sure. It's called troll play. Okay. Yeah. So we're doing a little role play where you get to confront your troll. Mm -hmm. In this case, your ex who you loved dearly for three years yeah. and it didn't work out. It's gonna be your it's gonna be Mike. Mike is your ex girlfriend. Okay. You found out that we did reconcile like months before that. Oh, we met okay. for the first time in like four or five years before could, the wedding happened yeah but she didn't invite you did not invite me so she's still there's still part of her she she was yeah. probably bullshitting you a little bit maybe yeah she's probably lying to your face yeah <laughs> she probably was this is like getting bit. into character right now <laughs> he's trying to guess hey, you know? hey, hey aiden i think if i saw her now i would be well, like you see her you see her say right it to her hey <laughs> i would just congratulations hi i'm what getting married <laughs> oh, i didn't do that what are you talking about <laughs> All right, well, this is the last time we ever do this. <laughs> <laughs> you generally don't have any ill will? No, because the last time we you met... You don't give a fuck, yeah, dude. Yeah, you're cool, dude. The last time you're we noble. met... You're noble. I was like... We had, like, a great conversation. And you're then say, I say, left... Say, say it to her. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, 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 we, I think we thought this was going to be completely different. Hey, we hey. had a good conversation, and I... Uh, I left it wholly being like, oh, yeah, even if we had stayed together, this would not have worked. She, like, is very business-minded, and she has, like, her master's degree in business and marketing and, like, works at somewhere downtown. Yeah. And I was – and she cares a lot about, like, her appearance and, like, her public appearance. And yeah. I was like, We're I'm obviously a fucking wreck. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, you – if it didn't break off then, we would have made it two more years, and she'd have been like, what are you doing? Sure. Once she discovers the bed food. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And that the bed food is on the bed floor. Yeah. Because that's where the bed is. Where the bed yeah. is. <laughs> the the <laughs> mattress is on the floor. The closet bed the man food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was just like, yeah, you would never sleep with me in a car. We'll just say it you to know, her. Hey. You don't have to say it to her. <laughs> <laughs> We have one here. Uh, we yeah, we you like to we like to come up with comebacks to all the trolls. We're gonna post we're, from our account. We will yep. post to at least one of these ten thousand that you brought. Mm -hmm, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna respond and we're just gonna put maybe we do like a fake money receipt. Yeah, and it's just like we'll throw up. Here are the, no, tell us the things that you bought and yeah. we'll pull up pictures and we'll we'll post it on all the yeah, on yeah. five of the responses. I mean. If someone did you that, tell, you don't tell us right now. I had a bad us. two weeks though of spending money yeah. after I got like well, you got always it. do whenever yeah. you get like your first big yeah. payday like that. I remember in L.A. I got a payday and I fucking yeah. blew it in like yeah. a week. I blew it almost at one concert. Really? I did Molly and just drank at the Wiltern. Nice. Yeah. I. The thing is, I it was all stuff I needed, yeah, or that I was like necessary. Well, to that's not keep blowing it, so, yeah, yeah, but I need, like I it was it a kick in the pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. I needed it too. Yeah, I, if I were drinking, I that money would have been gone. I in needed, a flash. I needed eleven <laughs> tequila Red Bulls at a Sturgill Simpson show. Oh hell yeah! Dude. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, th I thought I Sturgill de dog. <laughs> yeah, I, I get thought it. I developed a heart murmur yeah. after that night. Yeah, dude. Oh, I, wo I woke up and the room was fucking spinning, <laughs> and my heart's just beating abnormally. And I'm like, I have an audition for Best Buy. <laughs> that was just that was just the music pumping through your veins, bro. I was brother. like, I got a Best Buy. I'm throwing up in the shower. Oh, a good time. Stomping down the drain. Yeah. 
But anyway, you're doing better now. I'm doing better. Three years sober. Talk to you. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah. Everything's doing great. You didn't make it to the wedding. Why? You fucking didn't invite me. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Guess got lost in the mail. Uh, you know my address is the same as my parents' since the P.O. box went away. Oh, well, they made it. <laughs> This is, this is horrifying. <laughs> it's pretty good. I think this is terrifying. Just give it a second. You got to give them so a second. <laughs> it's been so many seconds. It's been so many seconds it happened. Working out the kinks. I think we I think we end the pod here. I feel like we've had a good time. And you have fun? Yeah, this is a good great. time. Hell yeah. Time. Where can uh, people find you? What do you, you can plug your socials. Uh, Anybody got shows coming up? Too, this will man. come out in like uh, March, so. AIDS man one zero nine on everything. <laughs> on everything. Venmo Cash App, everything. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh, I like that. At just Mike Lester on everything, including Venmo. Catch me and Ben. We're on tour right now. Um, we're going all over the country. The nice. Crumb Kingdom tour. Crumb Kingdom Check out tour. the link below for some ticks. Co headlining? Co headlining. We're co nice. fucking headlining. Let's uh, go. One of us will go, then the other. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, <laughs> Neil, you got anything? Same plugs as always. Uh, Seven Swords on all social medias. We released a song this month, so go check that out on Spotify. It's called Infusions. Seven Swords. Cross all that stuff. Love it. Cool. Appreciate y'all. At Shaq Hats on everything. Check out my weekly show Thursdays at Zora Darling. In, that was uh, a great show. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna get your ass on. You're never coming back. What the fuck? Why not, dude? <laughs> no, I'm probably gonna have I to lean on you the, a lot. I called the owner's wife a bitch. Yeah, she was did. magical. Uh, <laughs> it's great. It was our last show there. Uh, uh, I don't know. I got a book called Hello, My Name is Poop. If you want to buy that, that'd be great. Hey, review it on Readsy too. That helps. Yeah, give me some good reviews. I gotta. We're gonna do an episode of these adult people who have gone through and reviewed this book for children. And yeah. like, I don't know. The themes just seemed a little bit childish. I'm like, I'll hunt you down and find. Look where at you the live. fucking cover. Yeah. yeah. Look at the title. <laughs> it's crazy. crazy. The hell it's my insane, name is dog. Poop. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on uh, TikTok, YouTube. I love you. You. That's it. Reach in, pull it out, slap the top, our little sludgelings. We're working on it. Peace. You gotta pay the troll toll to get.